BTR 753286, Hardwick House, episode 4, prize given. Yeah, we don't have to do that every day. Our committee members, the headmaster has a few words to say to you. <laughs> I have. You mean you don't? Oh, dear. Hey, I'm afraid there's been a mistake. The headmaster has got nothing to say. After all, it's only prize giving tonight. So, Mr. Fowle, I'll hand things over to you. My office at break time. Why do I have to come to your office at break time? What's wrong? The fact that I stand before you today is entirely due to the efforts of Mr. Wickham. Now we know to blame. <laughs> when, when, when he first begged me to take up the challenge of organising prize giving, I refused. So surely there is someone else who can do the job, I said. Sickening. But he said, Herbert, in your heart of hearts, you know there isn't. And I knew he was right. Lights! Lights! Sorry. Projector! Sorry, I can't find the... Um... Oh. Oh. Stupid boy, I never get it wrong. Right, uh, pay attention, everyone. Right, uh, here, here. Here, here, and here are the main exhibition stands. The parents will enter here and move in a clockwise direction into the main body of the hall. Excuse here. me, Herbert, what are all those arrows for? Uh, they represent the route the parents will take. Oh, I see. I would have thought that was pretty obvious. <clears throat> but what if they don't want to go around that way? They will. Yeah, but what if they don't? It's really quite simple. I will make sure that they do. All right. Sir? <clears throat> What's that great big dot there? Where? Doing that at the bottom. It's a mark. What for? Look, it's a mark. A mark on the screen, right? There's another one there, OK? What are all the circles? Yeah, and the little numbers. Right, that's it. I've had enough. Lights! The headmaster, you take over. Oh, no, please, Herbert, it's just that it's a bit difficult to follow. Well, you show them, then. I mean, after all, when it comes down to it, I'm only good for cleaning up the toilets, aren't I? Don't start that again, well, Herbert. I've forgotten, because I haven't. No, of course not, no. I haven't no, forgotten no. your promise, either. Please, not in front of the others, Herbert. Honestly, you're doing fine. Honestly. Right. At last, this is I'm doing fine. So, is there anyone else who thinks they can do better? I'll have a go, Herbert. No? Fine, then shut up and let me get on with it. <clears throat> Lights! Now, I have scheduled the proceedings to commence at 1800 hours and terminate at 2100 hours. Um, per excuse me. Uh, what is all this 1800 hours and 2100 hours? Oh, God. Do you mean six o'clock and nine o'clock? I thought perhaps for a moment you were absent, Miss Crabbe. I mean, you hadn't whinged for over a minute. 
I'm simply asking a question. Then the answer is yes. I do mean six o'clock and nine o'clock. Then why not say so? Why be so militaristic? Because I want to be militaristic. Very militaristic. Oh, by the way, I've got some commandos coming to demonstrate throat slitting. Right, fine, that's it. I'm leaving. Good. I shall see you all at 1300 hours. Go on, go on. And I trust afternoon school will commence at 1330 hours. Have your little joke. And Operation Prize Giving will start at... Ah! Someone poked me. I've been poked. Oh, come, come, Miss Crab. I'm sure you imagined that. I tell you, someone poked me. Don't think you've heard the last of this foul. Yes, yes. No, no, what have you said? My speedless haste, my friend. God. Ooh, what's this? Good bucks? Now, 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 where was oh, I? Oh, in a film share! Why did no one tell me? Yeah. Oh, was I? Oh, yes, the, the seating. The chairs will be placed exactly <coughs> one meet. Oh, God, what's that? <coughs> Get him out of here! Don't tell you, Herbert! <laughs> I'll get him to move. Come on, Moose, come on. <laughs> we will, <Gentlemen>. Headmaster. <laughs> what fun, eh? <laughs> God faced Icelandic idiot. Right. Uh, the prize winners um, will line up here and proceed across the stage from right to left. No, Moose, this isn't going to work. Lights. Right. That's it. Had enough. That's me finished. No, please, Herbert. No. Someone else can do it. Now, look what you've done, Moose. <laughs> Please, Herbert, as a personal favour to me... I'm sorry, Mr Wickham, there's no point in asking. Very well. Uh, Mr Flashman, would you care to...? Oh, all right, then. Just this once. Right. Pay attention. Lights. All right, that's enough over there. How about some more over here? Sure, Slash, what do you fancy? About Macintosh as a puff. All right, Slash. Here, yeah, Slash, how do you spell Macintosh? Don't know. How do you spell Macintosh? No. What about sandwich as a puff? Yeah, or fowling. No. It's all we ever do, isn't it? He's a puff, she's a puff. But we do something different. Something sort of clever. I've got it, Slash. Miss Crab's got big ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Eh? yeah. What was that again? Junior? Miss Crab's got big ones. Yeah, we could say Savage has got big ones and all. Yeah, we could say anyone's got big ones. But we can't say Macintosh has got big ones. Why not? Because we can't spell Macintosh, can we? Right, now shut up. In here, I want to talk to you. <laughs> all right. What day is it? Sunday. Oh, well, besides that, Pillux. Prize giving. Exactly. John? Look at me when I'm talking to you, will you? I am, Slash. No, you're not. You're looking up there, aren't you? I oh, saw Slash. It's, it's these no glasses. Right. Prize giving. That means lots of parents, lots of cars, lots of business, doesn't it? How do you mean, Slash? Well, you know Sid from the scrapyard comes round my house last night, doesn't he? Ah, oh, and he wants more car parts. Right. But this time he said he don't want a load of old number plates and, you know, Stuff like that. I know what he wants, Slasher. He wants aerials. No, he don't want aerials. But they're great for playing swords. I know that. I said, didn't I? He says his punters don't want swords. What way? Says he wants cabs. Oh. Uh, carbs, lads, and batteries. What do you ever do? Well, I don't know, do I? Just get whatever you can pull out, innit? What's your plan this time, Slash? Ten. Ten? Ten? Ten. Ten Mars bars for a load of scrap. What ten Mars bars? Ten. Oh, Oi, Leroy. Sorry, Slash. Now listen, I'll put you in the all with a pit pocket, right? Right, Slash. Junior, you up to the car park, whip out wherever you can get, all right? And I'll mean whip out. Right, Slash. John? John? Yes, Slash? You keep looking out. Yes, Slash. Well, I must say it's uh Got a good turn up, Paul. Yes, most gratifying, Headmaster. Oi, Baldy, let us in. I say, do you mind? It's not a jungle sale, you know. It's not. Oh, well, stuff that then. Come on, everyone, let's go. No, no, wait, wait. Oh, marvellous, Paul, marvellous. What the hell did he say well, to nothing, us? Nothing, nothing. I simply said it wasn't a jungle sale. We might have a little one later on. Oh, oh. They're coming back. Now, shut up. Leave it to me. 
Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Glad Hello. you could come. <laughs> nice to see you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Mr. Ivey. <laughs> Glad you could make it. Yeah, we well, can thank her for that. I didn't believe him want to come. I'm sure you won't find it a wasted journey. Load <laughs> of rubbish for eating. <laughs> How are you, Mrs. Fine, thank you. So good of you to come. <laughs> Oi, leave it out. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, yeah, well, we've heard all about you, so watch it. Oh, I don't know, Paul. You've got some good points. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. I mean, I, and Mr. <laughs> Great to meet you. I hope you sorted it out with the maths teacher. Oh, yes, yes, most definitely. And what did he say? Pardon? Uh, he, he said he would. He would? And then he said he wouldn't. Is that all? <laughs> it's been a hectic day. Yes, <laughs> Master. What were you uh, hoping he would say? Well, he wasn't going to hit her again, of course. Uh, and that's exactly what he did say. Uh, Paul, would you tell Savage to turn that down a bit? Yes, headmaster. <laughs> yes, he was most apologetic when I spoke to him this morning. But I told you six months ago. <clears throat> uh, sorry? Uh, 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 and I spoke to him then, too. <laughs> I spoke to him this morning in case he'd forgotten. Mr. Savage, the music is much too. Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, Savage, couldn't we have one of the girls too, just to uh, even it up, eh? <laughs> That's enough. Come on, yeah. move along, move along, please. Come clockwise, if you please. Come on, move along. What do you think you're pushing? I shudder to think. Now, come on, move along, please. You. Stop golfing. Get a move on. Mr. Fowl, I believe the real hold-up is at biology. Oh, is it? Right. We'll see about that. Come on, that's it. Come on, you lot. Clockwise. Come on, you lot. Down the market now. Come on, move. Oh, God, I might have known. What's going on? I can't get a word out of her either. It's some sort of silent protest. Oh, silent protest, is it? Right, we'll see about that. Uh, right, you what? The woman beside me is a well-known lunatic mute. <laughs> uh, so the best thing we can do is ignore her, right? Right, move along. <laughs> you're still here when I come back. I'll tell them you're a lesbian. Geography supposed to be here. I but there wasn't enough room. Well, where is it then? In there. In the village. I should be doing it in a minute. We are you here to get to do? Oh, hi, Herbert. You idiot! What are you doing? Oh, it's okay, Herbert. I just have to talk a bit faster before the doors close. Oh. Okay. No, no, it's not okay. I told you I want to know. That's my garden no. I've known him anywhere. Oh, no, 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 that's the geography teacher. But if you'd like a word with him. They've licked it. Turn out of my garden. Yeah, well, if you just like to step inside for just a... No, I'm telling you, that's my garden, no. Oh, interesting. Every time there's a problem, they come running to me. Who's nicked my wallet? No, 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 please, step in. let's not be hasty. I'm, I'm sure it'll turn up. Um, Leroy, oh. see if anyone's found this gentleman's wallet. Has uh, anyone found a brown wallet with green stripes on it? Green My stripes. handbag's gone. What? Oh, and a red handbag. Red, red handbag? No? No?
GTR 7532-86, Hardwick Cows, Episode 4, Prize Giving Part 2. I don't know, Slash. I mean, it's not what we agreed, is it, eh? Yeah, I know, Sid. But, I mean, the lads insist and they could get ugly. Oh, yes. Here, Joe, they want another 15 quid. Sort them out, will you? Oh, I don't know, Sid. I mean, we're outnumbered, aren't we? We haven't got much choice. Here, are then. Take care. Yeah, we've got the extra. How much? Five bags of crisps. Great. We've got the extra. Good, I'm watching. Two bags of crisps. OK, we've got the extra. Great, how much? Two crisps each. Come on, I was born yesterday. We got an old bag, didn't we? Come on, lads, let's get started. Oi! Oh! That's mine! Oh. Well, I'll tell you this much, Slash, you strike an old dog and... Yeah, it does. I'll tell you this much, we don't want a prawn cocktail or sausage either. Right? And so, little daffodil, why must you go? Is it because you're afraid of the snow? Going on a bit, isn't she? Good God, who the hell are they? You stupid fool. I told him to round up the stragglers. I didn't mean... Oh, marvellous fool. Well done. No. And... And, and as for the crocus, there's no hocus-pocus. He holds his head high right up to the sky. I can't take much more of this. And, and then there's the tulip, a sweet little... I've had enough of this. Lovely, lovely. Thank you, Gillian. But there's more, sir. Yes, yes, wonderful. Let's have a big round of applause for Gillian! Get rid of the girl. Right, you can sit down now. <laughs> but, sir, what about the bluebell and the edgewood? Damn that bluebell and that bloody edgewood. Now sit down before I crash you in front of everyone. <laughs> and so, we come to the grand finale of our evening. Without any more ado, I'll leave you in the hands of the ever-popular Councillor Hodgkins. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hodgkins. It is indeed a pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to preside over such an auspicious proceeding. As an old boy of Hardwick House, I think I may safely say, without fear of contradiction, that a more better educational establishment literally don't exist nowhere. He certainly didn't pass English. I stand here before you tonight as one of Hardwick House's success stories. Here, yeah, stuff that. What about my drains? Yeah, and my rent rebate. My God. Please, please. Never mind, please. Eight months I've been waiting. Eight piggin' months. Hey! Oh, you're like a punch in a gob. Why don't you come down here and try it then, eh? Oh, ah! Ah! That's the trouble with this country. Too many ignorant, foul mouthed, gutless gits. Back to your dream. Oh, help! Oh, what hell's oh, going on? Oh, oh, Sorry? Oh, prize giving. Oh, that, yes, but you shouldn't have bothered changing. I mean, I'm getting all dressed up. Oh, no, I'm not all dressed up. I've just come straight from work. I'm a... Let me, don't tell me. Let me guess. You're something in the Labour Party? No, I'm a mechanic. Oh, well, <laughs> thank you. Hold the door open, please. Yeah, sure. Oh. Only first the car wouldn't start, then when I did get here, I couldn't find anywhere to park. Oh, did you try the car park? Couldn't find the car park. Yeah, well, silly place, put it right beside the school. What? Near the breaker's yard? Help! Help! Have you got a spanner? No. Oh, I've got a wrench, though. Oh, just as good. Thank you. Well, I looked everywhere. Couldn't find the car park. Well, obviously been stolen. I'll ring the police, see if anybody's handed it in. Are you going in or not? Yeah, OK, OK. Yeah, yeah. Just look at the pictures. Don't bother with the joined up writing. No more 
old batteries. Just carbs and rads now. Yeah, someone gives a hand. No, Brian. No. I said no more seats, didn't I? Oh, it's last. This one ain't gone in, you. Oh, dummy, so stupid. Must be in there somewhere. God, this rads don't I'll take a lot of getting out. And when it's out, it won't be no good, will it, bogey bumps? Don't worry, so don't be careful. We've got to get off our butts, ladies and gentlemen. Pull our fingers out, show a bit of spunk, like those lads who directed us into the car park. Now, they might have only charged a few coppers, but they got I didn't off tell anyone their butts. The car park, did you? No. Crafty little devils, aren't they? Enough of this levity. How about a little joke, Edmaster? Yes, yes, of course, by all means. <laughs> now, there was this bloke on a train. And he sees his priest. Oh, you like this one, Vicar. And the bloke says to the priest, why have you got your collar the wrong way round? And the priest says, well, I'm a father. And the bloke says, well, so am I. But I don't wear my collar the wrong way round. Oh, God, I hope this isn't going to be smutty. And the priest says, ah, but I'm a father of many. And the bloke goes, well, in that case, it's not your collar you'll be turned round, it should be your flipping trousers. <laughs> All right, lads, that's us. Ladies and gentlemen, boys, jumping! And now, the girls jumping! There's no need to panic, I assure you, but if you do have a car parked in the vicinity of the school, I'd advise you to check it. Thank you. Well, what are we going to do? Oh, God! For heaven's sake, man, sit down! The councillor, where's the councillor? Don't worry, he got away. Yes, my flaming bike. Are they still out there? Maybe they've all gone home. <laughs> no, they're, they're still there. Well, I blame the councillor. If he hadn't told that stupid joke... If the evening had been properly organised in the first place, then none of this would have happened. That's a great help, Paul. There's a mob of parents out there baying for our blood, and all you can do is bicker. Somebody's got to talk to them. Yeah. Yes. 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 Good. Who? Mr. Fowl. Yes, Mr. Fowl. We have a little job for you. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, first, however, I have a plan. How to get us out of here. So have we, haven't we, colleagues? Now, pay attention, everybody. Here, here, and here are the main exits. Here, at the rear... Uh, what are you doing? Why are you looking at me like that? Don't, don't come any closer. 
The first person. I I'm warning you. Knights. Who cut the rope? Come on. Who was it? <laughs>